Okay, so in the last video we just created a simple Hello Cocos app with a uh, layer, text layer, and in this video I'm going to cover, uh, introduce you to the default handlers, but before I continue I'm going to here just change a little bit, so I'm going to create a size, uh, size variable and it will be equal to the director that get window size get window size and uh, if i print it out size to the console it prints out so this uh, director that get window size returns the window size as a tuple, so 1280 by 720. And instead of uh, giving the label uh, that position 614 and 360, I'm going to change this to size size index 0 divided by 2 and size at index 1 divided by 2 so that way if we change the windows width and the windows height uh, it will automatically calculate the uh, width divided by 2 and the size divided by 2 Okay, let's delete this print statement and let's talk about a little bit the default handlers. So I'm going to the uh, cocos python.cocos2d.org and open up the doc, doc slash tutorials and here in the programming guide if you scroll down uh, where it is yes here it is the default handlers under the built-in python interpreter and as you see by default you have uh, some uh, keyboard commands so with control f you can toggle the full screen mode so let's let me try this out so I'm pressing Ctrl F and now our application is in full screen. So Ctrl F, go back to windowed mode. So go here, as you see Ctrl S takes, takes, takes a screenshot of the current window. So it, Ctrl S. Nothing happened, or no? Yeah, here, here is the screenshot. So it created a screenshot dash some number dot png file, and here we also have uh, control P, which uh, toggles the pause, and control W, which toggles wireframe mode. Control X, it should toggle the FPS display, and Control I toggles the built in Python interpreter. So let me try at least the Control X and the Control I. So I'm going to run this and Control X. Yes, it shows now the FPS. I don't think it's it's real FPS because lastly I tried out it was at 60 frames per second I don't know why now it it is only 9 so control X and control I should toggle the built-in Python interpreter yes so we can just add all sorts of Python command so hello cocos and 
control i to turn it off i'm just going to cover maybe later this built-in python interpreter how it is how it can be useful and now also also take a look at this default handlers class okay so i'm going to open this director um, module so click on if you are using of course pycharm you can do this by clicking on it uh, right clicking and go to declaration okay so here you have the the director director class and here, here uh, let me find it the default handler uh, yes here it is at, at line number 360 default handler so self that window that push handlers the default handler object and the default handler object is defined here the default handler so uh, you can see that it has some own key press um, event so if the symbol pyglet key f and the modifier is the um, um, control it sets the window to full screen here is the pause here is the wireframe mode uh, Yes, here is the control X if symbol is uh, key X and the modifier is the control then director that show FPS FPS and here is the built-in toggling the built-in Python Python interpreter so if symbol is uh, pilot that window key I and the modifier is the uh, control then it will import the Python interpreter layer and also yes here is the control S which takes the screenshot it creates an image get buffer get color and it saves it as a PNG file and of course uh, if symbol is escape then director.pop and return true so the application just exi exits so here was a guy Nikesh Nana who recommended me about these videos to create these um, default handlers so he asked me for the next video can you show how to get rid of the of the debug layers so not be, nothing happens when you press ctrl i on con or ctrl d so there are two ways to actually turn off this be, these these um, default handlers one is just at line 360 yes 360 uh, you can edit the source code so just comment out this line and now when I run and let's say control X or control I or control F the full screen mode nothing happens but I don't recommend you to actually edit the source code itself so I'm going to uncomment this window that push handler 
and instead of editing the source code if you wanna want to get rid of these uh, default handlers you can just run the following command so director that window that pop underscore handlers so uh, I just closed it so go back declaration and it was on the line 360 so here you pushing with the window that push handlers this handler to the stack so if you can push it you can pop it out from the stack so here with this command you pop or remove this uh, default handler from the uh, stack so now if you if you run it and let's try to with control i or control f the full screen mode or control x nothing happens because we just removed those default handlers so that's all i wanted to talk about in this video so thanks for watching and have a nice day